Well, as you saw right before the break, it has been a warm day across the viewing area. Temperatures here in Meridian topped out at 87 degrees, so we were 7 degrees above our average high. The low this morning of 59 was also about 5 degrees above our average low. No precipitation today. We're over 2.5 inches above where we should be for this time of year, so we could stand to have this dry period for a little while. And while our radar is clear at the current moment, yeah, as we go into your Friday, Saturday time frame, our next storm system moves on through. So the radars will get a little bit of a workout. We got to remember it is spring after all, and tonight it'll feel like spring. We're talking mid to lower 60s, patchy clouds and mild. Those winds still out of the south southeast, right around five miles per hour. And then for your Wednesday, warm and dry conditions stay with us across the southeastern U.S. It's all due to a high pressure that we've been talking about. Now it has pushed on off the coast, off our map here currently, but it is still impacting us, giving us those southerly winds. And also notice, yes, out to the west. Some showers and thunderstorms are showing up into Arkansas, Oklahoma and Texas. Now they are currently getting some right now, but they're going to get some more tomorrow. And then as that low kind of ejects on off to the north and to the east, that front will come on through us. And that's what's going to bring us the chance for showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow temperature is much like today. We're talking mid to upper 80s and those winds 5 to 10 miles per hour still out of the south. Just periods of sun overall still going to be a nice day and that's much like your Thursday as well. We'll take a look here at our surface pressure maps. Now what you're seeing is where we have the low pressure in the southeastern corner of New Mexico. That is our next storm maker. And then the high pressure that we've been dealing with on off the coast right now. And then the colors you see are actually the temperature. So you see this line right here that goes all the way back to this low. That's actually a stationary front that these storms are firing alongside currently. And this will eventually move on off to the east. But we're concerned about a cold front that's going to kind of develop to the south of this low pressure. And it's going to be more of a cool front, not really a cold front, but it'll drop us into the upper 70s, right near 80 degrees as we go on throughout your weekend. Satellite right now, again, we're not showing much across the southeastern U.S. We've had a few high clouds. That is about it. See all the storms blowing up across the south central U.S. into Texas and Oklahoma. Those are severe, but thankfully, by the time this system gets to us, we're not talking severe weather. We're not even talking a large amount of accumulation as far as rain is concerned. Still about a half inch to an inch, so more than we really want, but nothing what we have seen over the past several months. And again, late this week, showers and thunderstorms across the southeastern, eastern portions of the U.S. This is going to affect a lot of people. Thankfully, we're going to be on more of the southern side of it. It's only going to last about Friday, maybe, or Saturday is our best chance to maybe get some in here on your Friday time frame. So here we go for your Wednesday. We'll have some sunshine. Been in partly cloudy skies, 87 degrees. We'll still be in the upper 80s for your Thursday. Increasing clouds, though. We'll keep those clouds around for your Friday. Best chance for showers and thunderstorms will be on your Saturday time frame. You can see we drop down to the upper 70s, so not too far away from our average high for this time of year. And as we go into next week, sunshine does return, and we warm back up to near 90 degrees by Monday.